And so the journey of a thousand miles begins with the single step. Greetings one and all, welcome to the RP Geeks, I'm Masonic Geek, here with me today are Triforce of Doom and Red Nova. Hello. What's up? And we have one more who will be introduced in a later video, but welcome everyone to Final Fantasy XIV. I forget, yeah. how does the uh, C numbers work on the... Oh, wait, you're right, you guys are using controllers, never mind, fuck. <laughs> yep. Cannot help you there. Yeah, most we're pretty much all going to be starting with new characters. As you can see well, here, I... Go ahead. Oh, yeah, uh, where are you guys anyway so we can all meet up? I've actually not started yet. Okay. Because I'm still getting through the intro. As you folks on YouTube can see here, I have decided to go with a Hrothgar. And uh, once we, once you guys can see me, I'm using Shadow Gale, the character I created back when I had the 30-day trial a good few years back, and he's only level 5, so... Yeah. Yep. What and race I is he, may I ask? Uh, me coat, cuz cats. Ah. I can't turn it or however you pronounce it. Playing as a keeper of the moon, my coat known as Red Amos. Or Abel. Oh, yeah, I did have, like, a quest queued up still. What's yep. in the box? Where is that? Well, that reminds me. I need to take care of super how, quick. It, it's been a while, so I'm trying to remember how I view all the quests and stuff. Oh. Uh, um, da, 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 da. Yeah, I'm setting up my hot bar right now. Friend list... Uh, player search. All right, and thus the adventure uh, begins anew. Yeah. Okay, so uh, what's your character name, Geek? So I can find just search you up. Uh, I will let you know once this cutscene's over. Oh, okay. I'm not officially in the game just yet. Oh, all right. All right. Well, while you're working on that, I might as well work on this what's in the box quest real quick. <laughs> what's in the box? Because I just happened to have that from last time I played. Yep. Here. Just need a room. How do I make it to where it shows up in, like, my mini-map on a tracker or whatever? Or yeah, whatever. Oh, well. I think it just automatically does that. Here. As long as you have it as, like, one of the top five. Hmm. Yeah, I... Oh yeah, okay. I'm seeing the uh, I'm seeing all the quest markers now. Never mind. Yep. Again, getting getting reused to the game system, people. Yep. Go towards the light. You know, it, it's funny that we're starting up a Final Fantasy XIV theme because one of my uh, game clearing stream games right now is World. Funny that. Yeah. Oh no. All the Final Fantasy. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh no, who is this shadowy person? Oh no. Oh, refill street oh, no. lamps uh, with oil is what it is, okay. <laughs> Running to find all the street lamps that are uh, going crazy. Up, oh, I see one. Oh yeah, so they're just on different altitudes. Yeah, yeah, I do have a good few. The what's in the box one was a slay monster one, so yeah, I'll just ah. take care of that later. Uh, street lamp oil. It's weird having to use right click to open the menus for certain things. Yeah. Because left click just focuses on it, basically. Yep. Or lets you, like, drag it around in your item management. Yep. Oi. You all right, lad? All right, you're going through the new, new character stuff right now, right? Yep. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I'm just adjusting my HUD layout. <laughs> You're moaning in your sleep and sweating buckets besides. Rolling of the ship got your stomach turning, has uh, it? Hmm. Hide the log window yeah. for now. Yep. Uh, like, we're, we have voice chat, so we're fine there. Yep. Don't seem like seasickness, now that I look at you. How do you, uh, how do you feel your letters again? You Can have I to go to a mailbox. Have... Oh, it's a physical place, got it. Yep. Okay, cool, yeah, because I noticed I have a, a letter. Some are more sensitive to the stuff than others, see? We ain't too far from Vilbrand now. Just chock full of aetherites. I got six in mind, but I know why that is. 
<laughs> and I'm, I'm about to have a crap ton in mine. No yeah. need to fret, though. You'll soon get used to it. I use large catman. Alright. I've been looking for an excuse to play a Rothgar for a while. Hmm. Might as well have blue uh, and seasickness. So, oh, yeah, so, uh... uh j just so I can take care of this, um... Oh, uh, what, what is your character name? Uh... Harris something. I forget. H-A-R-I-S. Um, okay, I might go... Oh, one R? Okay. Yes. Um... Myself a breath of fresh air. Limbs Elements is still a fair ways off, in case you were wondering. Seeing as you're awake and all, how about you keep me company until we get there? That. Uh, uh <laughs> Harris... Harris Elosh? Yeah. Alright. Them youngins don't much and care for... And send friend request to that character... And I got it. And there, and then since you're the uh, the essentially the lead for this, I'll let you uh, do the party setup. Yep, sounds like a plan. First, I get, yeah, I figure I just get the friend list part out of the way at least. Yep. Yeah, having to having to search my character name and not uh, account name is interesting. See if I can have all these going on at the same time. Them youngins don't much care for conversation, see? Any road, Brennan's the name, and peddling's me trade. Alpha no and Ali say. Oh, I'm guessing I can only have so many quests active at once. You can have up to 30 active at once, but only the top five will actually show up on your map, I think. Okay, well, this guy isn't letting me accept, so I'm wondering what's going on there. Uh, might just be tutorial stuff, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's not letting me do the confirm, so... It says level 3 while I'm level 5, so I don't know what's going on there. Ah, uh, smell that salty sea breeze. Now then, lad, judging by your unusual garments, I'd say you're one of them new adventurers. Am I warm? I knew it. When wherever the wind blows, seeking fortune and glory, now that's what I call a living. As long as you can avoid dying, I mean. Ain't no secret Where that adventuring's a risky business these days. These days, especially. Where, where do I check my quest? Is it like in the journal. outside of the pause menu? Oh, the journal. Yep. What oh. was it that first attracted you to it? Where to a mass of fortune? Where, where? How do I open the journal? I I'm all my buttons. Yeah, I don't use keyboard and mouse, so I don't know. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's a okay. The quick key is J. That makes sense. J for journal. Uh, it, nice is they show you the hotkeys when you, when they show up in the menus. Yep. Fortune, eh? Oh, back in the water. Let's see. Well, it's a dream we've all had at one time or another. I gotta speak with Hinanza at the Armors Guild. Ba -ba -ba -ba. To learn to handle yourself that's, in a that's fight. That's who I was talking to. I want to pay a visit to whichever crafting or gathering guild tickles your fancy. Yeah, so this is one I already had accepted. So what the fuck? Nimsalaminsa is renowned for its... Smitties and armorers, not to mention it's fisher folk. And then there's its cooks, of course. Venturing ain't just about killing things, after all. Peaceful pastime may well help you make your fortune. Let's remember, though, there's more important things than fortune and glory, such as breathing. Ain't no profit in being dead, and that's a fact. Ding, ding, coming into port. Or getting attacked by pirates. Um, yeah, it looks like that one was just going to have to uh, wait till later from the sound of it, because they said they were busy with a commission or something like that. Oh boy, pirates. What are these da, red da, quest da, da, icons? Those are ones you can't do yet. Okay. I'll go. Okay, there's a zoom out buttons for the mini map. That helps. Yep. What's the world coming to? Pirates firing on a ship, flying limits and colors. Bastards either have a boatload of balls or bugger all for brains. I love alliteration. <laughs> yeah. Alliteration's fun. Yes, it is. 
And rest easy, friends. Oh, yeah. I made it. Go ahead. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, Red, what's your character name? So I can also send you a friend uh, request. Uh, Red Avil. A-E-V-O. I'll and just rest... start with Red and... Um... Uh... Okay, so there you are. We're going to say send friend request, and boom. There we go. And pirates gave up the chase. We must be close to port. Let's head up on deck and have us a look, shall we? Well, hello, quest icon. Well, let's see what your deal is. Ah, uh, yes, a nice, beautiful, clear day in Limsa. Yep. Is I legit forget what Nini's first quest there was mm. about deception or whatever. No, it is not. Mm. Well, Wager, there have been some changes since your last visit. Allow a journey to itinerant to apprise you of the current state of affairs. Limsa Limsa surprises itself on being Eorzea's foremost naval power. It weren't too long ago that the place was ruled by pirates, thanks to the current Admiral civilized and influenced, the city-state could almost pass for a respectable nation. You'd never guess she was once a rum swollen buccaneer herself. <laughs> of course, most folk ain't so quick to change. With a town full of liberty-loving ruffians, you can imagine how many naysayers and troublemakers she's got to deal with. Oh, like oh, that's what it was. I had to choose one of the optional rewards for that other guy's quest. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know optional <laughs> rewards were a thing. Yep. So, uh, so let's see. They've got... um. Defense, but less magic defense. Yep. Um, but if that, and if that weren't bad enough, I've heard the Sahagan are raiding the coast just as bold as you please. Them are sea dwelling beastmen the locals call fishbacks. In case you didn't know, that's racist. Uh, Come on, really? Uh, now a all... vulcan. Let's see what. Uh, I don't even know what this one would do for me. Like it looks like to be the same stats as my uh, default stuff or something like that. Oh wait, no, one's disciple of war only, and I'm I do not believe I am disciple of war. So okay. Or wait. Oh, no, uh, Arcanist is within Disciple of War, it looks like. Okay, never mind. I'm guessing the D-O-W. On a windswept isle in the southwestern corner of the realm. Amidst the roiling waves of the Rotano Sea lies the maritime so I noticed that you that does just show all the classes the at once in the stats thing. Are you able to change jobs later on or something? Yes. All right, that's that's gonna be fun for experimentation and, and stuff. Cutthroats and curves, is there any benefit to having done multiple classes aside from just you know having the versatility um, in the mindset? Um, the other thing is is that every time you change a job, if you hadn't started it yet, you start that Lone next job at level one, so you got the level for the hero's up. Or has drawn the some later ones, are like heavens where they can do to like level thirty, stormborn ones are fifty, and. Shadowbringers ones are 60, so. But you have to be at least a particular level to accept those jobs. In the churning water. Yeah, you I, I'm, you on the I'm saying, like, is there any, like, so, any sort of, like, carryover stats or anything from doing multiple jobs on one character? Um, not that I'm aware of. Okay, yeah, because I didn't know if it was, like, a Bravely Default slash Octopath situation where you could get, uh, like, carry over certain skills or whatever. Yeah, usually skills. Um, the only thing that might carry over is like skills that are known as traits. Or wait, uh, mm. no, not traits. Uh, roll action skills could carry over depending on which other jobs you get. Like, uh, disciple of magic roll skills will carry over to other disciple of magic, but not disciple of war, for example. So. Like, for example, I think uh, Roll, you got Adel, Swift, Cast, Lucid, Dreaming, Sure, Cast. Other Disciple of Magic uh, classes will, slash jobs will... Red, red hold on. Oh, uh, what's up?
Why is sprint on equal sign? I need to fix that. Um, keybind. Shortcuts. Oh, I see. It's because it's all the one top row, actually. That actually makes some sense there. I, mean, I can always just click on sprint, I guess. Like, hot key, like, worrying about hot key for sprint isn't as uh, bad as, like, hot keying the spells. Uh, okay, so yeah, just looking over my spell list again. Alright, here we are, Limsa Liminsa. Yep. Where's the mailbox at again? The mailbox the of Limsa is on the upper, upper deck. decks. Yeah. Okay, I need, I was going, trying to head there anyway, so that works out. Yeah, it's south of the, uh, Drowning Wedge. Or south of the Aft Castle Etherites charge. Yep. By the way, I uh, was looking over my spells again, Geek, and I, I forgot that the key, that the cure spell is called Fizz Sick, spelled like S you are sick. Yep. <laughs> I love it. They spell a lot of things <laughs> weird. Which, which apparently Red's also an Arcanist, so that's gonna be fun. Woo! Yeah. Double spell casting. All Double the bios. Summons. All the bios and summons. <laughs> Yeah, that'll be fun early on until I get Rogan, and obviously you'll be totally taken so, over. So, should I just bring out my summon now, or should I wait? Because how do summons work with that? Like, with time or life or whatever? Yeah, you just kind of summon them, and they attack stuff. Okay, so do they just last until they die or something? They used to. Now they just go until you die. Well, the, the, okay, I kind of figured they there was in the uh, they die when you die rule. I just meant like, do they wear? Is the only way for them to wear off via death? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, cool. I'm just gonna cast it now once the upper deck is done loading. <laughs> Alrighty. God, this whole first episode was a fucking shit show. Mm. Have fun, future me. That is a yeah. That that is me for when I get to Okumura's boss fight. Oh Jesus <laughs> Christ! Okay, how the fuck do I move? Why? How do I move the cast bars? Oh God! Oh, I can uh, just click and drag. Thank God. Yep. Yeah. I'm just putting that at the top of this screen, so it's not smack in the fucking middle. Probably a good choice. You can shrink it too. That's nice. And I'm going to preemptively give my current self the middle finger. <laughs> and oh, so you're on. flipping yourself off. <laughs> yep. Here you go. Have yeah. fun with that lamb. <laughs> oh, leather gloves. Oh, uh, what? Oh, there we go. Welcome to Limsa Laminsa, a bustling city state filled with scoundrels and brigands, the rough cut diamond of the, of the Rotano Sea. Please select the control scheme you wish to use. There we go. go. This way. God. Request. 20. Holy shit. Stop. Adventure Guild. Gatekeeper. Nope, repairs. Trying to find the... There might be a need to... Hunt board, Maelstrom uh, Trader Shop. One second, folks. What's going on now? I'm just working okay. on some. How do I change? How do I change which quests are in the like main main part here? Hold on. Go to the journal. Oh, cool! Okay. I killed all the rats. I killed all the rats. Cool. Nice. I'm sure, you're itching to explore, but adventurers are required to register their presence in the city without a bit of local. Oh, I see. I can check mark them. Cool. Likely to get your throat slit in some piss stinking alley. So before you do anything else, get yourself over to the Drowning Wench and enroll with the Adventurers Guild. There we go. Go up the elevator. Head straight down the street. Speak with Griffar. He'll show you how to work that big moving platform we call the Crow's Lift. That'll take you up oh. to the pub. Killing all those warf rats got me enough XP for level 6. Neat. Nice. So you're there, look for a fellow by the name of Bataron. He's the proprietor of the Wench. Might curse like an ale sodden soldier, but the man's got a soft spot for wide-eyed newcomers like yourself. He'll set you straight. 
Got all that? Good. Now run along and may the navigator guide you on your journey. Alright, now, now, now I'll see if I can't find a crystal while I'm on my way. Begin a quest. Oh boy. So I'm guessing purple health mirrors mean they're, means they're aggroed to someone else. Is that what that means? Uh, if it's a different color. Yeah, like yeah, like I saw you were finding one and it had a purple health meter. Yeah, yeah, that means it's aggro to somebody else. Yep. Okay, cool. I, I'm glad they color code that. Yep. Yeah. They're nice about that sort of thing. Yeah, if it's aggro to you, it should be in, like your regular color. Oh yeah, no, it, it it was red when I was fighting those guys. Uh, let's see. Loading. Oh, and you have another quest for me. Okay. And more loading. Fry me a liver, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. Greetings to you, lot. What'll it be? Now, but you ain't here for the drink, are you? You've come to work, come here with a mind to try your hand adventuring, I reckon. Well, you find no shortage of work here in Limsa. Means better on. This is the most hospitable of hostelries, and and this most hospitable. Words. Screw it. Moving on. Words. <laughs> yes, words. Tis words also. Fun. Yep. Tis also the home of the Adventurers Guild here in Limsa. That's why we've got a desk. Especially for handling guild business. Why I assume spend more time saving the next one. Oh, okay, cool. So that's okay. Now I'm seeing where the enemy status effect icons are for yep. when I hit, hit them with bio. Yep. And let the throats of me ready. Adventurers have a knack for finding stone. trouble, see? Not that they needed in these parts on account of there being trouble wherever you look. Manage to steer clear of the fishbacks of the kobolds outside the city, the pirates on the inside will get you instead. And if they don't manage, there's always the Garlean Empire to finish the job. Oh, no one knows what they're planning, of course. But if they're planning anything, you can be sure it's to kill the lot of us. Hey, Spell! Look at my asthma! Yep. This town seems peaceful at a glance, but look again and you'll see people living in fear of what tomorrow might bring. And who can blame them after everything that's happened? Right. Yorzia took a mighty blow during the Calamity. But our homes were Oh, God, if, uh, I just encountered a fate. Uh, what? <laughs> Yeah, that may happen. We're the only things what got wiped off. Well, thankfully I have other people nearby, so that'll help yep. with yeah. whatever this is going on here. And that thrice down bastard of a dragon. Yeah, that's a good idea. Good idea to join that if other people are doing it. Took it, it just happened while I was trying to kill <laughs> some river toads. Took our bleeding memories too, and no one's been able to explain it in a way that makes a nonsense sense. <sighs> None of the folks what saw it and lived to tell the tale seem to agree on how the tale actually that goes. Hoddy logs, I can say. It is all foggy, like recollections from a hard night in the ale. You can imagine why people might fear for the future they can't rightly recall the past. But there is one thing we all remember, and that's the group of adventurers what laid down their lives to drag Eorzea back from the brink when she was bound for the abyss. The players of 1.0. Well, I say we remember. Truth is, though, we ain't forgotten what they did for us. This god's damn calamity spawn memory loss robbed us of their names. Oh, hi, Mr. Cane Toad. Die. <laughs> Die. Yeah, he just tried to hit me from behind after he spawned in. <laughs> Won't even let us picture their damn faces. It's like staring at a gull flying in front of the sun. What you see in your mind's eye is a shadow set against a blinding glare. So many Cane Toads. <laughs> that's how every bugger describes it, by the way. Give or take the odd gull. Yeah. It's this what got people calling these heroes the Warriors of Light. If Limsa's ever gonna push this time of darkness behind it, it's gonna need Venturers to help banish the fear. Oh shit! Oh shit! Okay, uh, potion? This It's gonna need new heroes like the ones we lost. May, as a major, it probably shouldn't have been between like three different, uh, toads. <laughs> Just a thought. Maybe one day you'll be one of them. And that's why oh. we aid. Oh Jesus we... Christ! Oh my god. That's why any aid we can give to a venture is effort well spent. What say you, lad? You willing to lend us your strength? Yep, cure myself. Of course. Me thanks to you and the navigator and all. I knew she'd steer you my way for a reason. Yay, fate done. Yay. Listen to me. You're 55 XP, like a, nice. Like a sun... What the fuck? 
Listen to me yattering on like a sun-touched fishwife. Fucking pirate speak. Tis high time we got your mark in me book. Arr, Spongebob. Put your scroll right there. I think I'm already killing a different type of toad for a quest, so knock two things out. That was nice. <laughs> Congratulations, you're now an upstanding member of the Venturers Guild. Now the Yellow Jackets. Captain reported okay. being attacked by a pirate vessel. Several witnesses have testified independently that a passenger matching your description went out on deck mere moments before the incident took place. Oh dear. Oh, oh, that, oh that's where my status effects are, okay. You got the wrong bloke. Find upstanding young gent is me dear departed Grandma's sister's niece's cousin's closest companion. There we go, level five. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I'd like to say that out loud one more time. What? This, this yeah. fine, upstanding young gent is me dear departed grandma's sister's niece's cousin's closest companion. What? <laughs> so what does that make us? Absolutely nothing. nothing. Okay, I was going to make the reference to myself, so I'm, <laughs> but I'm glad someone did. <laughs> Wait, where the, the heart is missed? That's eh, a level 5 quest, might as well take it. The lad wouldn't be caught dead fraternizing with such unsavory elements. Surely aware of the recent kidnappings. Respectfully, then, we can't be too trusting of outsiders at a time when the loyalty of even our closest friends is in doubt. You make a good point there, officer. Very okay, good point. So that guy Very wise. Wants to know. Yeah. You needn't worry, though. Keep one eye open at all times. Me and two more... Often than not. Now, sir, what say you to tanker me finest ale for your return to your duties, eh? Not a large down cup of piss like last time, I should hope. Ain't got the faintest idea what you're on about, officer. The winch might offer some of the cheapest grog this side of the straight of Merle Thor. That don't mean it won't get you good and pickled. And look, there's a chair over there just crying out to be sat on. So kick off them heavy boots, eh? Help is much appreciated. Uh, so, dude. so this farmer dude wanted uh, toad livers as an experimental fertilizer. Interesting. Yep. Because apparently fish livers are a common fertilizer in this world. Well, I mean, they are near the ocean. You have to excuse these eager, bloody yellow jackets. It's been a spate of kidnapping, see, and they ain't got a clue who's behind them. Naturally, they've taken to clapping irons on anyone who looks vaguely suspicious, which means venturers, visitors, and pretty much every bugger else in this town. Don't take it personal, though. Us Lumensons can be, heads, be an headstrong bunch of bastards, mm. tis true. But given time will grow on you. And where was I? Oh, why? Welcome to Limsa Lumensa. The sea's as green as the faces of me patrons after a few too many black belly whiskeys. But take a moment to gather your wits and we'll get started with learning you the ways of the city. There's one of these farmers has a mole problem going on. Yep. Loading. So when will be we be able to all like set up our parties? Soon. Possibly next episode. Okay. Like I knew the beginning bit would probably take a bit, so. Yep. I think there's wild dodos I needed for the uh, what's in the box uh quest. Yeah, I just accepted that. Yeah, it was the one, like, right underneath the what the main quest is on my HUD, so I was curious about it for a bit. All right, and with that, gonna end the episode here. Thank you guys so much for joining us. If you like this video, leave a like and a comment, and if you want to see more, hit subscribe on the bell, and we'll see you guys next time. Later. Yes. Yeah.